Hello there, I'm Black Pride, broadcasting out of the UK, <coughs> early hours of the morning. Um, yeah, I had a couple of texts. Oh, why haven't you done anything about Love Island? To be honest, I didn't think anybody was interested in my take on Love Island. But seeing as you are, I decided to um, blend last night's and the nights before in one as much as I can. Um, but to be honest, I have had a terrible toothache. I've been so... The whole side of my head was throbbing. So I haven't really enjoyed Love Island as I would. So I haven't got so much detail as I would. But anyway, I'll swiftly go through. So we've got Shauna fighting for Callum. I think she's got balls and I really admire her. She likes Callum, so she's going after her man. There's no Callum in the villa. Just imagine that he's not there. That is her message for Rebecca. I love the way she helped him draft the text because I think she's really good for him because where his weakness is, that's where her strength is. And I think they'd be really good together. So yeah, big up Shauna, big up Callum. Callum has gone up in my estimation, especially since he was able to speak to Rebecca quite coherently and, you know, assertively and tell him where he is with Shauna. So that was a boost. I think Rebecca, she seems a bit ruthless, but I guess you've got to be in the house. Not too sure about her. I mean, as of last night, I would have thought Connor was definitely in the running and he would have said he's definitely in the running. But with the two guys coming in, I'm not sure if she's not going to go for that black guy. I, I don't know. The Luke, I think it's Luke T, whichever the black guy is. I've got a funny feeling that she may, depending on what happens, what happened last night and what they're going to show us this evening. So that, and I believe that is why they're making us wait for her to choose, because she will be choosing tonight. They will do the recoupling. So if, oh my God, if Rebecca chooses Luke, the black Luke, can you imagine Connor? He's blown his chances with Shanice. <laughs> and he'll be out on the lurch. Um, I don't know what reminds me. He really reminds me, not him physically, but the play out to Muggy Mike. Um, because Muggy Mike came in there, the gorgeous guy, you know, women wanted him. And then in the end, he ended up without anybody. So that's got a, I've got a funny feeling. I don't want it to happen because I think Connor is such a nice guy. But I've got a funny feeling it might play out that way. But that's just my thoughts. What else have we got here? Um, oh, when Shauna um, kissed Mike and said he is the game player in the house. I mean, she backed it up really nicely by saying it's because um, he's a police officer and he likes to get to know things and he feels as though he's helping. But mm, not too sure about that. I'm also not too sure about where he is with Leanne. I mean, um, he's probably feeling a bit insecure. I think he really likes Leanne. I think Leanne is giving him a bit of a chase. Um, yeah, but, you know, on the one hand, he, you know, you get the feeling that he understands and then he's going to the boys and saying, you know, is it worth me investing this time? You know, but like they said, if you want it, you have to go at her pace and I think with her, I don't think she wants to be mugged off in the house. I think, and you know when they're saying she's giving mixed messages, okay, she says she wants to take it slow, but then she's kissing him. I I don't think that's a contradiction because you can still want to take it slow, but you probably don't want anybody groping you or anything like that. You probably still want the intimacy, but she doesn't want him groping her you know, feeling her up underneath the covers. I think that is the aspect that she wants to take slow. But I think she enjoys kissing him. I think she genuinely enjoys getting to know him. I think men being men, if somebody comes in who wants him, he's gone. So, um, yeah, you know, because really and truly, there's no real deep loyalty. And how can there be? It's just a few days in the villa. Um, what else did I have down here? Um, what's his name again? Flynn. Is it Finley? And Paige. I'm not sure. I think 
like it, like she said, it could be down to his age. I mean, but there was something underhanded about the way he was speaking to Rebecca when he said, yeah, you can choose me, but it needs to be worth the risk. Um, if you get my meaning, you can take from that what you like. For me, he's more or less saying, you, you know, if you choose me, you better make it worth my while because he likes Paige. But somebody who says that makes me think that he's going to dump Paige at some point. And I'm glad that Paige is jumping on him because he's like, they, there's no loyalty there. I mean, she might as well dump him now because the way I see it, he, he just stands off and like she said, it is immature. All the other guys, they went and sat next to their women. He's going off like he's so cool, doesn't want to be too close to her because he's either threatened by the boys, he's not sure what she thinks about the boys or whatever it is. But yeah, you know, but what do you expect? He's only 20, 20 for Christ's sake. I don't think 20 year old should be allowed in the villa, honestly. But anyway, he's in there. And um, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, what else is there? Short sure, Shanice giving Connor a hard time. Connor with a G. Because the thing is with Connor with a G, she's the one that's been chasing him. She's the one that asked him about kids. And then she made it out like they were talking about kids and marriage. They weren't talking about kids and marriage. She asked him if he wanted kids and marriage. And he kind of like, whoa, hang on there. And he hasn't let her on. He's just been civil to her. You know what I mean? And she's reckoning, oh, he's giving her signals. He's not giving her no signals. I mean, if you're running down a guy and he's acknowledging you, he's just being nice. And that's what most people are like. You see, when people are not direct, like in his case, and I mean, why should he be direct? You know, you're in the villa and you have to play your cards right because you don't know who's coming in. You don't know who's getting booted out, you want to stay on the island, so you have to try and keep everything sweet. So with him, he's trying. he was trying to keep it sweet with her, but then, of course, he jumped the gun too quickly by saying, look, I'm really interested in Rebecca. But you know what I don't understand? I don't understand why they have to tell everybody everything. Like, because he kissed Rebecca, he's got no loyalties to Shanice. It's not like he's dealing with Shanice or that he's coupled up with Shanice. And they're saying to him, he's got to tell Shanice that he kissed Rebecca. Why? You know, it's really, really bizarre. I mean, their transparency in some areas and the way they're closed off in others baffles me. So I'm not quite sure why he needed to tell her, but I guess to make her back off then because he was so confident that Rebecca was going to choose him but like I said if they if he they hadn't have interfered he might have still had a chance with Shanice if Rebecca chooses Luke T now he's going to be left on the lurch which is a bit silly I still don't think Shanice is right for him there's something quite calculating about her there's something quite nasty about her you can see that nasty streak and the way she looks um I saw her, I saw the way she had this look on her when um, Jess came into the group. It's like she looked at her as if to say, what the hell you're doing here? And then she gave her this, you know, this skin teeth thing. And I'm like, what is that about? So, yeah, Shanice. Mm -mm. So what else is there? Um, yeah, I don't think Connor has done anything to Shanice. Um Mike is talking about he wants to uncrack the code with Leanne. There is no code, guy. A woman will open up when she's ready. There is no code. If she likes you, she'll open up. If she doesn't, she'll shut down. And it all depends how you're playing it. Um, like, I, like they said, you know, maybe it's because he's too cocky. Maybe she wants to see another side of it. I don't know what it is. But she shut down. Um, let me see what else. Oh, yeah, what I thought was a bit weird and superficial was Leanne. She doesn't know enough about Mike. I mean, she talks to him every day. Um, they seem to be open. And yet she says she can't, she can't tell what he's like because she can't see his Instagram. I'm like, is that how people check out potential mates now? By checking their Instagram page to see what photos they've got on it. I mean, how 
ridiculous or I'm maybe well I shouldn't say that ridiculous maybe I'm just too old for that kind of thing but Instagram and then they're saying oh he might have pure selfies on there selfies of himself that tells you something I mean people take selfies all the time what does that tell you it tells you that either they're having fun they could be arrogant they could be narcissistic who knows why they're taking selfies but I don't think you can judge somebody's character by looking on their Instagram page I mean honestly Instagram just gives you a couple of minutes um, well less than one minute of a video and you can stick photographs up so I guess she wants to see if he's up there with other women what does that say those women could be anyone anyway so I thought that was a bit off um, I like the way Callum's got more coverage um, and I, I keep jumping because I've got them in different places but yeah Leanne's gone back to the high five and then she's kissing him so I guess that is a bit about um, mixed messages but you know a woman's intuition is usually right if a woman knows that a man a man a woman can tell when a man is feeling it and when he's not when he's pretending there's just something about a woman's intuition and maybe she's picking up something about Mike that's made her feel not too secure so yeah and I think I'm going to leave it there so we've got the recoupling tonight but the tonight should be quite exciting not really much to say about um Connor one and Sophie Sophie is she going to jump ship I don't know she seems quite settled with Connor but there again she did say you just never know and I think she's being realistic you can't just put all your eggs in one basket but from the preview of tonight's show it looks like everything's gonna go kaput I think Connor is gonna Connor one is going to ask her look are we are you gonna commit yourself to me and she's gonna say oh well I don't know I'm not quite sure you know, you never know who's coming in. We've got to keep it open. I've, I've got a funny feeling she's going to say something like that. Um, why he's so mad. But there again, you know, that's what it's all about. You just cannot, in the villa, you cannot say, unless you've absolutely clicked with someone, that you're going to stay with that person. There, there has to be something missing for them to say depending on who comes in not unless they're those people who always want something better you do have people who are out there they're always looking for something better than what they've got and if she's like that then she's never going to be satisfied with Connor you see with Connor he already knows that she's the one he wants and his eyes are not going to turn but with her there is something missing regardless she doesn't know what it is but there's something missing why she thinks she's going to find that in someone else who might come in but sometimes you know the devil you know is better than the devil you don't so that's all for now bye bye